Hi everyone, it's Daniel here with a, another Falconet uh, devlog to show you some of the updates that we've been working on. So let's begin. All right, the first thing that uh, is worth mentioning is that uh, I've made some changes to the controls. So now you can actually fire uh, with the D-pad, um, which is quite uh, useful if you don't uh, want to use the analog stick for firing. You can now use the, the D-pad for firing in different directions. All right, uh, then our new enemies that we've added, we call these guys the jellyfish. So what's interesting about these guys is that you can only destroy them with weapons of a matching color. So for example, if you use the beam, which is a blue weapon, it doesn't damage these guys. Uh, these teal colored ones can be, can be damaged with any, any weapon, as you can see here. Um, these red guys, they can be destroyed using, you can see you take damage using uh, blasters, uh, a torpedo, or even the spreader, because you saw those guys had a bit of yellow on them. All right, then uh, there's some more jellyfish here. You can see, trying to hit them with anything. So we use beam. You can hear the ricochet sounds. You can see there's no damage animation happening. Then if we use the railgun, no problem. Uh, so hopefully this should, um, you know, help keep the game a bit more interesting. Oh, all right, so these guys, um, we call these guys the armadillo. What's interesting about these guys is that as soon as you fire, they close. So you have to try and be quick. Um, you can see as soon as they're closed, they can't take any damage. Uh, so you have to, uh, even if you use something like the, the beam, they just close up quickly and uh, they just kind of follow you around until you um, stop firing and then they open up and start shooting at you. Uh, so an ideal weapon for this uh, would be either your torpedo, well even the torpedo doesn't take, because these guys got quite a lot of life, so the railgun is perhaps the most efficient way of getting rid of these guys. Um, so that's the armadillos, uh, let's see what else we got coming up next. Uh, okay, so more jellyfish. Um, these guys only destroy them using, um, see, even using something like the torpedo, railgun, nothing. So, got to use the beam on these guys. Right, let's see, we've gone through most of the colors. Um, what have we got next? Oh, there we go, some pickle guys. Okay, so we need to use the mortar with these guys. Mortar's a lot of fun, uh, especially in close, close, uh, uh, narrow passages, bouncing things off the walls. Uh, just get rid of these guys. Right, uh, so, okay, we got a whole bunch of them here, so this is where you gotta be smart. Um, what really helps is they can be destroyed by the mines. What's this, this guy doing here? So if we try and... There we go. Took a whole bunch of them out. Some more purple guys. Oh, let me just get rid of... Here we go. All right, uh, you're probably wondering what these guys are doing over here. Okay, so these are humans. Uh, we've added this as an objective to try and rescue the humans trapped behind these walls. So um, let's go ahead and save them. All right, and that's pretty much ends the, ends the level. Um, so yeah, but thanks so much for uh, checking out uh, Falconet and uh, we uh, hope that uh, you'll be able to, um, uh, we hope that you'll uh, subscribe to this channel to get notified and, and receive more devlogs. Um, we also have uh, our, um, our Discord that you're welcome to join uh, so that you can stay, uh, you can see more updates of Falconet. Um, 
yeah, and uh, make sure also that you go and subs uh, wishlist this game on Steam. Still under development, still got a lot to do, but uh, yeah, we'd appreciate a, a wishlist so you can get notified when the game is actually released. Alright, that's it for now. See you guys.